morning guys and welcome back to vlogmas day 13 so today i am coming at you from my dressing gown in my dressing room because today i am packing for our trip to dublin so i am going to be doing a bit of a pack with me and i'm going to be trying all my outfits on basically to see what i want to wear so that's why i've still got my dressing gown on i thought there was no point getting dressed to then just get out of it to try each individual outfit on so i'm going to be sharing a few packing tips with you throughout this video too so i've got my notebook with a little list written down here and this tells me what outfits I need to pack so it tells me that I need to do three daytime outfits and two evening outfits and then I've also included a couple of items that I definitely want to take so like my Stuart Weitzman over the knee boots and my new Ted Baker coat I definitely want to take and then I've reminded myself to pack warm things because I know it's going to be freezing and I know that from experience because the previous two times oh no I've been three times Okay, well the first two times I went to Dublin it was in February and March and it was so cold honestly. The first year I went was when me and Leah had just got together so I was more interested in wearing like little cute outfits and yeah I was just frozen. I completely underestimated how cold it was in Dublin. We are going around the zoo and I ended up borrowing Lee's jacket because I didn't have a jacket with me even in like March I think it was then and yeah so I need to remember to take warm clothes this time because like I say I've only ever been when it's cold the third time I went it was last April for my friend's hen do and it was still a little bit cooler then but like I say I'd learnt from the first time and remember to pack a little bit warmer although because it was April it was getting slightly nicer too so that is my main concern warmth and style so I need to pick pieces out that are going to do that so I'm going to get the blue coat and the boots out because I know I definitely want those so I'm going to get those out first. So I'm not sure when I'm going to wear this coat but I know that I'm going to wear it. I'm not sure whether it's going to be daytime or evening. I guess we'll see what other outfits I come up with. I know I want to wear this one evening with my over the knee boots and then a black dress so I suppose we should start there. Let's find a black dress. So whenever I'm packing as well, I always hang everything up on my door just so I can see at what I'm packing. Also, I forgot to mention, we've only got a little carry-on case, so that's this size, and we get 10 kilograms of luggage as well, so I've got to try and fit it all in there on a carry-on, so it's going to be a challenge, but I know I can do it. Or oh, rather than just all black dress, I could do a little Valentino number. That'd be really nice because that coat will cover it all up anyway so it'll just look like an all black outfit and then when I take that off this will be underneath so yeah I'm gonna do this and then for oh, it's in my pocket for some inspiration I usually go on like Instagram or Pinterest and just have a look at some like recent things that I've saved I could save for a bit of inspo Although, to save on packing light, why don't I do that coat for both evenings and then change what goes on underneath it? Because then, I know that when we're out and about, I'll be nice and warm in my blue coat. Yeah, so I think I'm going to do the same coat, but then with a different outfit underneath. So then, I know the coat will keep me warm, but then when we go into places, I'll have a different outfit on. So what else might I want to wear? Ooh... I think I'm just going to start by going through and seeing if there's like pieces that I've thought I want to uh, wear recently or that I think I might like to take. Okay so I'm pulling out this grey sweater dress and I know that this is like super cosy and warm. So I'm not sure whether this is going to be for day or evening but I'm just going to hang it up and then I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to pull a load of things out and then try it all on and see what I want to narrow it down to. Yeah, see, I love this dress so it would be nice if I could include this dress somehow. 
In fact, let me check what the temperature is going to be in Dublin. Okay, so it says Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Saturdays rainy and 10, Sundays cloudy and 8, Mondays 11 and rainy. So I was going to take my fur jacket or jelly, but if it's going to be raining, I don't want to because I don't want that to spoil it. Ooh, so what do I want to take? I think I want to take my leather leggings for the daytime. So I've got two pairs. I've got like this super shiny pair. And then I've also got just like my normal pair. So I'll pull both of those out so I can try them on. So since it's saying that it's not going to be any one of the days, I might take like my white fur gilet to wear with the wet look leggings. And then pop a big like fuzzy jumper underneath that. So I can't find my black polo next, so I'll have to check if that's been in the wash. So I'll just put a long sleeve in with it so I can see the whole look together. See if that's something I'd want to do. I like to wear this jumper underneath that grey pinafore dress. Okay, so now I've got like my clothes hanging up and my little piles going. I'm going to start trying things on and really narrowing it down. So that means I'm going to get like all my shoes together and try on any like scarves that I might want to take too. Just so I can try and narrow it down and see what else I might need to take. Or might want to take, should I say. Okay, so this is going to be one of my first daytime outfits. So I've paired just the long sleeve, like, black t-shirt. And I'm going to keep it as this so that I'm not, like, too warm. Because I am sweating right now, so I know it's going to be hot enough. So I've got a long sleeve top on with this white faux fur gilet. And then I've paired it with this grey and black Louis scarf. And just like tied it big and oversized and then I've paired it with these like wet look they're not even wet look I think they're like vinyl PVC style pants and then some black and white trainers on the bottom to make it like suitable for walking round and sightseeing so I don't even know if you're gonna be able to get the full effect of the outfit but I'm like super happy with this outfit so then what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna take a picture of myself in this outfit so that I know when I've packed it, I know what I wanted to wear and how I wanted to wear it and style it. So that is like another tip. Take a picture of all the outfits you're wanting to wear so you don't get to where you're going and you're like, oh, what did I want to wear that with? Or how did I style it up again? So yeah, I'm gonna, get, gonna take a picture of this now. Once I've decided on like what I'm wearing and started packing my outfits too, I just lay them out on the floor so that when I'm going through and picking my other outfits, I can see what I've already got and if there's some bits that I can use for the next outfit so like trainers or a scarf so that's another good tip for you. Okay so then for the second day outfit I've actually paired it with the same gilet and scarf and this time I've picked out that grey knitted dress that I showed you then I've paired it with some tights and my trusty black ankle boots from Matalan because I figured that that way I can have an option of these or the black trainers by just going black footwear it just makes it easy for the daytime and I know that I can just walk about in these as well so yeah this is this one and I think let's move over this a bit I think I might actually travel to the airport in this one so I might actually leave this out the good thing about this outfit as well is if I decide that I want to be a bit more dressy I can pair it with like my blue Ted Baker coat and completely change it you know just depending on how you're feeling on the day so sometimes you'll have like an outfit planned and then once you get to the place you're like oh I'm not really feeling it so I'm leaving it open so that I've got a couple of options should I want to change my mind as well. For my next outfit I'm not actually going to completely try it on so I've just popped some jeans on which I know I'm going to pack as well and I'm going to pack this bodysuit which is like a turtleneck and then I'm going to pack another jumper as well in case one day I'm just not feeling very dressy or we get there and yeah just it's real it's like chucking it down or we just want to be in something cosy like checking out the hotel or something like that so I'm going to pack this one and then find another one as well. So yeah then the other one I think I'm going to take is this big multicoloured one. This will keep me super warm and like I say I'm just going to pair it with my favourite jeans. The selected femme ones just like a mid wash blue and then I can pair this with either the boots or the trainers and I can put my big blue coat on if we're going to be going out and about but this is like a super warm knit. So this will keep me super warm by itself and then if we're out and about and I get too hot I can always like unbutton the jacket as well or take it off when we get into places. Okay so I've just thrown 
jeans and a top on for while I finish the packing and I'll show you what we're working with so this is like my daytime clothes and then this is my evening clothes and oh I just need to go get my over the knee boots out so I've got my over the knee boots and then the bag I'm going to take is going to be this guess one which I've been using loads at the minute just because I think it's a nice colour that goes with most things because even though it's like a metallic it's still like a neutral tone so yeah I'm going to pair this with everything daytime evening keep it simple so now it's just the task of trying to fit that into one side of my case because then in the other side of my case I need to fit all my toiletries and it's really that stuff that kind of fills it up it out good dogs so I'm going to pack it in the side that has the zip up because it's then easier to cram everything else into the side that is open with just like the stretchy things to hold it in place. So let's try and fit all that in here. Keep the bag out because I'm allowed to take that as well on the aeroplane. making a list of the toiletries I need so so far this is what I've got although I know some things that I'm gonna get actually at the airport so like the face wash and toothpaste I'm going to get at the airport because I can get some little miniatures with the dry shampoo so I don't need to pack those perfume I've got a little one that I can use Lee packs the toothbrush so it's just the moisturiser and the Prologen gel that I'm going to have to try and decant down because you're not allowed more than 50 mils and I'm pretty sure my moisturiser is more than 50 mils let's have a look at this oh it's exactly 50 mils it's just a lot to take so I might see if I can fit it all in and if not all my liquids need to fit in here and then I'm being optimistic now I'm gonna see if all my makeup can fit in here not including my makeup brushes I'll pack those separately but if all my makeup can fit in here then I'll be really happy if not I've got a slightly bigger one however I really don't know where my makeup bags have gone I've literally checked all the places where I would usually put them and they're not there so don't know where that is but yeah it's a challenge I'm gonna fit it all in there so let's do that now a couple of extras and then another couple of extras so that's my contact lenses in moisturizer going in prologene gel i don't have anything to decant that into perfume so from new look these are actually really nice and it came in a set of four but i've already used up three and to be honest these are on the last dregs but they'll work for a few days so i've got blush devotion and dusk and then i have a miniature body lotion by Jo malone which is the peony and blush suede since there is a few things i want to get the airport i'm going to make a little note on my phone i think i already have one from like when i've been away before for like buying at the airport and then it's makeup so let's see how low i can get this i've got the bag for the liquids here and then this the regular bag for the other makeup so this primer's on its last legs anyway so i won't be taking the primer so then i do foundation oh i wonder if i've got a spray bottle for some setting spray mist because i definitely want to take that then let's move on to what i use next i use powder blush bronzer and highlighter no problem and then for eyes take my tart lips flirt palette i use this literally almost every day got some gorgeous warm tones in there i actually picked this up when we we're in florida it looks a little bit worse to wear now but it's still really good and then for that inner highlight, currently I'm using this one from NYX and this is in White Noise. It's like a gorgeous, I can get it open, iridescent white with like a pinky blue tinge through it. 
So that's those two. And then I'll probably just take a little bit of sparkle as well in case I'm feeling fancy. Let's take this one. So this is the Steeler Magnificent Metals like, what is it called? Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. And this is in the colour Smoky Storm. So that can go in there. Eyeliner, brows, mascara. It'll just be a couple of lip products. So let's just take my faves at the minute. So lip balm is the By Terry Balm de Rose. And then I'll take the Anastasia Beverly Hills in American Doll. This is the one that I used for my wedding that I was on about as well. And then I'll take the one which I've got on today, which is Dusty Rose by Anastasia. And I'm not going to bother taking a gloss or anything like that because... It's going to be cold and if it's windy i don't want to deal with the lip gloss in hair situation and that no way can be it because i fit my makeup in there so yeah don't that can't be everything can it let me just go through my drawers and see if there's anything else i use on the daily no to be honest i can't think that there is and the good thing about this is that i'm going to be using this as well for like the next couple of mornings getting ready so i can definitely check that i've got everything that i want to pack so that's good that's the makeup and i'll just put these in whichever handbag i decide as well because i don't like the idea of them just being in a clunky case and being thrown around everywhere so the beauty blender will fit in there as well which is nice and then i need this to hand because this is like i say my liquids and then i'll just pick out the brushes which i need so like i say beauty blender there i need this one for my under eye setting powder i need this one for my cream bronzer, blush and bronzer highlighter, so the four face brushes and then just a couple, so blender brush, inner corner brush and then just one to deepen any colours. So then just potentially curlers slash straighteners. So I'll take my straighteners so that I can straighten it. But also if I want to curl it, I can curl it with these. So they're multifunctional. Okay, so that's about it for what I can pack today. So then I've just made a list of everything else that I'm going to need to pack on the morning. So that's just like the extra makeup and hair stuff, money purse, phone and charger, all the things for my camera and my Mac. And most importantly, my passport. But like I say, I think that's going to be it from my packing today. I've got my little backpack out as well which is going to be my hand luggage so yeah i think that is pretty much me packed or all that i can do glasses i need to add my glasses to the list another thing i always forget my glasses i can't find my glasses yeah so i think it's gonna fit like i say i'm probably gonna put a couple of things in and just give it away so that i know approximately how much it's gonna weigh so i'm not surprised once i get to the airport Hey guys, it's the end of the night now. <laughs> That's so going in. God, I'm putting that on YouTube. <laughs> so it's the end of the night now, and I've just been out working for the last few hours, and Lee's been doing the same thing. And it's date night now, we've actually come up to bed early, and we've just watched a Bob Proctor video on gratitude. And now Lee is just loading up the TV to watch The Apprentice from last night. It was the interviews. So we're going to catch up on that and then get an early night so that we can get a good sleep in. So I hope you've enjoyed watching today's video. Make sure you're subscribed. I am so close to 500 subscribers now. So please, please subscribe and let me know when you have done in the comments down below. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Whoa, oh, oh. Da, 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 da. Whoa, oh, oh. Da 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 da, oh oh, da 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 da, making our Christmas memories.